Law enforcement officials warning of a dangerous shift in the fight to save a generation from opioids. The latest figures from the State Department of Health show some progress, but as TSV 11's Roly Hoyt shows us, a deadly mix is the latest threat. Yeah, Craig and Marlisa, silver linings and warning signs in this latest report. Efforts to cut down the number of pain pills on the street are working. The word is also out there on the dangers of fentanyl. But if you think that potent synthetic opioid is the only threat, and only a threat to hardcore drug users, you need to think again. We are uh, potentially entering the fourth wave of this epidemic, uh, which includes stimulants, uh, so methamphetamine. The 2018 prescription drug report is out. While state epidemiologist Mike Sima talks of fourth waves, we are at least starting to solve the first one. For the most part, uh, prescription opioid indicators appear to be starting to head downward, uh, but there is still a, a bunch of work to do on that front, too. For the first time since 2014, the state saw two straight quarterly declines in the total number of prescriptions. But our numbers are still very high compared to the rest of the country. The main threat now comes from synthetic opioids like fentanyl. And that's why the second and third waves of this epidemic are so deadly. It's a very dangerous, very cheap substance, uh, and it's going to be here for a while. State Drug Director Kirk Lane says drug dealers are using fentanyl to spice up their other products. Law enforcement is seeing signs of so-called polysubstance abuse. Uh, put into alcohol, being mixed into marijuana, we're seeing a rash of uh, fentanyl marijuana overdoses, both non-fatal and fatal. And if it's mixing with marijuana, it's mixing even more with meth, the drug most commonly abused in Arkansas. Sometimes the user seeks it out, sometimes they don't know. Regardless, drug officials stress they need to sound the alarm. As drugs become more deadly, we need, as the public, needs to be more aware of the dangers that are out there and address it, and address it quickly. Now, two other data points from the annual report. Overdose deaths did tick up. We had 426 people die in 2018. Also, while prescribing rates are down, they are still twice the national average and second only to Alabama with the number of pills that are prescribed to patients.